Hello, I'm just making uh, Dagonus here from the Skyrim Nexus, and I'm just making a well, planning to be a short tutorial. Um, what we're quickly going to do, there's been a few requests on how to make a prison cell or a cage and to keep the NPC inside because people seem to be having difficulty with it. Um, it they set it up in here and they go in game and the NPC is just wandering outside where it outside the cell. So what we're going to do as usual make um I'm just gonna quickly show you. I made a, a test room, gave it lighting, nav meshing and image spacing and what have you. Took about uh, about two minutes to do. So first thing you want to do is in the filter box type metal cage, then press all. You've got a list here. So I'm just gonna use the metal cage zero one, drag and drop. It never goes down properly. Just drag it anywhere you want. Now you want this metal cage door zero one, and then just drag and drop that. And you want to make sure the padlock is on the outside, naturally. Otherwise, it's not much of a prison cell, is it? Now you just want to go and line that up. <clears throat> what I usually do. Uh, just to cover my bases, I click on the metal cage door, click on linked ref, double click references, click on that. Just, f just for peace of mind, just how I do things. Double click on the door again, go to lock. Now you want it to be locked, so you can either do it via a key and place a key on a table or at nearby NPC, or you can just use. Uh, the locked part. So I'm just going to make this an expert lock, for example. And now what we're going to do, so we've got the main cage done and dusted. So what we want to do now is place markers inside the cage to tell the NPC where to go. So just type marker. Maybe that was a bit too ambiguous. Um, do, 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 do. Actually, sorry, um, lean marker. Oh, sorry. Sometimes, if you uh, <coughs> I do excuse me. Sometimes, when you empty out the filter filter box and you select it all, it takes a while to reload. So that's my bad on that one. It'll come up with not responding from time to time, don't worry about that. There we go. Now I want the wall lean marker. And just swivel it around, bring it forward a bit. And I want the chair as well, so I'm just going to type in chair. And these little chair objects, obviously, are markers. These little blue houses are just static objects. So if you want a chair that an NPC can sit on without you ha having to tell it, to, um, yeah, if you want an NPC to sit on a chair, you need to use one of these uh, marker chairs. So I'm just going to go drag and drop a common chair. Oh, as you can see, the cell's a bit floating. So I'm just going to highlight all these objects, just move it down. Just move that across there. So now we've got our objects, uh, markers in there. We want to add our NPC. So you want to go to Actor. You can use any NPC you wish. For this, Ideally, you need an NPC who does not have AI data, um, sort of sandbox editor location. You don't want one of them because they just go off and do their own thing usually. Um, for now, I'm just going to use a preset, so I'm going to just type in preset. Argonian male preset. Yep. See what AI packages they have. They have none, that which is good. So you just want to go drag and drop. 
Make sure he's in there all right. Yeah. Now what you want to do, you want to double click on the Argonian, click in the link to ref tab, double click in the references, select reference in render window. Didn't work. You just need to adjust the camera there. Set reference in render window and click on the common chair. Now what you want to do is click on the common chair, patrol data, make uh, click on the patrol data, idle time, let's say he wants to sit this is done in seconds, so zero is he'll go to the chair, sit on it and automatically stand back up. You want him to sit on the chair for a while, so I'm just gonna say uh sixty seconds. <clears throat> Then what you want to do is click on the. Sorry, done that wrong again. Sorry. Go back to the chair marker. Don't come out of it. And go to linked ref, linked ref tab. Double click in references. Just make sure that move the camera quickly. <coughs> and then just uh, choose the wall marker or the metal cage, as it seems to have done there. Don't want that friggin' metal cage. It's a bit picky sometimes. Okay, let's just move it out a bit more then. If it's having trouble. <coughs> there we go. Press OK. Go into the lead wall marker. Make sure you press the patrol data. And let's say we want in there for three min uh, two minutes. So just put 120 seconds in. Press OK. And save. And that should be it, really. Simplicity, really. So what I'm going to do is pause this video for now, and I'm just going to quickly hop in game and see if it's worked. Fingers crossed. So I'll see you in game. Hello and welcome back to this short tutorial. Um, I'm in game now, so I'm just going to go and COC AA test room. I believe that's what I called it. We'll soon find out. Aha! Fantastic, it's worked. So I'm just going to get a torch, lighten it up a bit. And there we can see our Argonian is in a prison. In a cell, and the cage door is on expert, as you can see. And after however many seconds we set him to, he'll walk over to the wall lean uh, marker, which is there, and he'll just go back and forth. It'll be an endless cycle, and that's just to sort of make it a basic prison in a cell. I mean, you could, could go in more advanced, get him to talk to you, but that's quite advanced dialogue and questing and what have you. I'll probably go over that another time. But for now this has been adding a NPC to a prison or cage. Thank you for watching. If you've liked what you've seen please subscribe and yes take care.